Hey campus, so for this block, um, we're going to be making something using water power again. Um, it's something that I did in a previous video um, with, I don't know if it was with Junior Capital or Teen Camp, where we made a water pump using a skewer and a straw and some tape. But this time I'm going to be making a water wheel, which is more probably more commonly known as like a water mill, um, which uses water to propel um, the wheel around. So it's used. It was used to be used um, historically all over the world. So what we're going to need for this activity is two paper plates, some paper cups, and you should have been sent a wooden skewer, so a small wooden stick. Unfortunately, I don't have those with me. So what I'm gonna try and do is use a straw instead and hope it works. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the center point on these plates. So uh, if you have a ruler, use one of those to find the middle. I'm gonna be sort of doing it roughly, and I'm gonna mark it with a marker. So I found the rough center line on my one. I'm just marked around about where I think the middle is. And then I'm going to do it on the same on the other one. And you should have your skewer to do this, but I'm going to be using a pencil and then putting a straw through. So where I'm using a pencil now, you'll need to use a skewer. So all I'm going to do is take my pencil, making sure my hands aren't in the way, I'm going to push it through plate making a hole. So you guys will do it with the skewer again making sure your hand isn't in the way and you're doing it through there. I was just trying to do mine so that they were the right size so that a straw can fit through mine. So where my straw is now is where your uh, skewer will be so it should be like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out and I'm going to I'm going to turn one of my plates face down so that the bottom is facing up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these paper cups, you should, have, you should have maybe five or six, and we're going to be taping them so that they're facing the outside and they're evenly spaced going around. stick them to that on the other side. So I'll just do that. So we should have something that looks like this. Now the skewer will go through the middle, through the two holes. So mine's going to be my straw. As my straw didn't quite work, I may try it with a pencil instead. So I've got a pencil instead of a straw, but it should be doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, I'll move the camera, I'll take it somewhere where I can put it under a tap, so in, in a sink, uh, and I'll show you how 
the water works. So uh, what you should have is your wheel that you've just made with the skewer through it. And all you're going to want to do is just hold it underneath a tap that is running ever so slightly. It doesn't even have to be running much. And what will happen is it will start propelling itself round. Well, it may get stuck in places, but as soon as it rolls back, it'll start filling up again. And it'll put, force it round. If I turn it up ever so slightly, it'll work a bit better. See that? So it's stopping when it gets to that one. But it still keeps going. So yeah, that's how you make the water wheel. I uh, hope you have fun with it. And uh, enjoy the rest of your videos for this week. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye.